So, in today's video, I am going to show you some of the best gaming monitors under $1,100 that you will easily buy after watching this video. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Now the first monitor in the list is AOC Agon AG 493 UCX. The AOC Agon AG 493 UCX is a formidable widescreen monitor with a tightly curved 49 inches screen for playing the growing number of games that can be played on an ultra wide screen. Although it has a larger native resolution 5120x 1440 pixels, or 5 Kelvin, it has a lower refresh rate of 120 Hz. The Agon AG 493 UCX has proven to be a fun gaming system, especially for driving, flight simulation, and other enveloping games, as well as video and photo genres. However, its perplexing menu structure caused an equal amount of aggravation at times. Monitor size, 49 inches curved. Resolution, 5120x 1440, Dual QHD, max refresh rate, 120 Hz, response time, 1 ms, aspect ratio, 32 to 9, weight, 46.1 pounds. So second in the list is ASUS ROG Swift PG 43UQ. In the large format gaming display category, the ASUS ROG Swift PG 43UQ has few rivals. Gaming is addictive thanks to its superb contrast, bright and accurate color, and smooth video processing. The 43 inches Asus ROG Swift PG 43 UQ is not only big, but it's also a high end gaming monitor that boasts excellent HDR visuals and a minimum maximum brightness of 1000 nits. That backlight also has a dynamic contrast setting that works well in both SDR and HDR. That is certainly something to get enthusiastic about. Monitor size 43 inches, resolution 3840x 2164K LED, max refresh rate. 144 Hz, response time, 1 ms, aspect ratio, 16 to 9, weight, 50.00 pounds. So number 3 is on this list is, AORUSFI 32U. With a 144 Hz 4 Kelvin IPS panel, the Gigabyte AORUSFI 32U is an excellent monitor. It's one of the first monitors to offer HDMI 2.1, making it ideal for next generation console gamers. PC gamers don't have to make compromises because it also supports VESAS display stream compression technology, which means that as long as your graphics card supports DSC, you can take full advantage of it even if you haven't upgraded to an HDMI 2.1 graphics card yet. With a rapid refresh rate, little input latency, and a quick response time, this monitor provides an outstanding gaming experience. It has FreeSync variable refresh rate technology for practically tier-free gaming. Monitor size, 32 inches. Resolution, 3840x2164 Kelvin SS IPS. Max refresh rate, 144 Hz. Response time, 1 ms. Aspect ratio, 16 to 9. Weight, 34 pounds. So number 4 is on this list is, Scepter C505 BQSN168. The Scepter C505 BQSN168 monitor is a fantastic 49 inches display. Its varied feature sheet makes it an excellent pick for both gaming and business. When compared to comparable 49 inches monitors on the market, it provides greater value for money. This is a 32 to 9 aspect ratio dual QHD monitor. The Scepter C505 BQSN168 is definitely worth checking into if you're searching for a feature rich super ultra wide monitor at a fair price. Monitor size 49 9 inches curved. Resolution, 5120x 1440 Dual QHD. Max refresh rate, 120 Hz. Response time, 4 ms. Aspect ratio, 32 to 9. Weight, 46 pounds. Now last but not the least in this listing, Acer Predator X34 SB MIFSKS. The Acer Predator X34 SB MIFSKS is a new NVIDIA G-Sync gaming monitor that features everything. The 34 inches monitor features an IPS screen with 3440x1440 UWQHD resolution, 1900R curvature, display DR400 certification, and a refresh rate of up to 180 Hz. The Acer X34 has a 98% DCI-P3 color gamut and a built-in G-Sync module to prevent tearing in games. It also has two 7-watt speakers built in, two HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort 1.4 inputs, a USB 3.0 hub with four downstream connections, and a headphone output round out the features, a USB-C port that can offer 85 watts of power, monitor size, 34 inches curved, resolution, 3440x1440 UWQHD IPS. Max refresh rate, 180 Hz. Response time, 0, 5 ms. Aspect ratio, 21 to 9. Weight, 19.10 pounds. So that's all about it in this video. I really hope this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, 
make sure you subscribe to this channel.